Hello and welcome to day two of our training for how to launch an affiliate marketing business. Again, we are going over the very basics of what you need. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. There is so much information, so many directions that you can go that it can get overwhelming and a lot of people end up quitting and I don't want that to happen to you. So today what we're going to talk about is who are we going to sell to? and what are we going to sell? Now you're probably sitting there saying, well, I have no idea what I'm going to sell because I don't know what's out there. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. You're gonna to have to take some time to research and find out what people are looking for. And we're gonna stick with the uh, health and fitness industry right now at first, and then even do a little bit of the wealth industry, just to give you an idea of the choices that you have. Um, when you're looking for a product to sell, ClickBank, this is the, I brought it up here on the screen. It's called uh, www.clickbank.com. You can see the URL right there. They have affiliate products that people can come in, pick a product they want to sell, sign up with the person who is the vendor, and then you get a commission for selling their product. Now, products in ClickBank are typically, I would say around 10 to 30% of commission typically you're going to make 30 to 50 percent when you sell digital products which basically are training products and that's why you see a lot of people selling training online they've created their own course and they're selling it for like a thousand dollars and then they might offer it for people like um, you and me who are affiliates to sell it for them and a lot of times they offer you 50 percent now you're probably thinking well that's what i want to do those are good to do i think when you're first starting it might be good to start with clickbank because you're getting a feel for what you're doing and typically in the beginning you'll have success um, think about it the higher the item is priced the less items you're going to sell the lower it's priced, the more you're going to sell. And I think in the beginning, you really need that feeling of, oh, I sold stuff and it's exciting. You don't even care if it's a dollar in the beginning because you're just so excited to see that the system works and then you can build up from there. It's up to you, but that's what I have found. When people start with something really high, they tend to have to wait longer to sell it. And it can again be discouraging. It definitely is not a get rich quick system you have to learn the skills learn the system and then you just keep getting better at it just like anything else so let's look at clickbank that's a place that you can go to get products and that's what it looks like when you get in there um, another one we're going to go over today is called jv zoo and they are a digital affiliate marketplace where they sell training that other people might have or um, digital products okay so we're gonna look at those two things I have my tabs opened up so we don't have to wait but I went ahead and logged into Clickbank and this is what it looks like when you get in there and I'm gonna look over on the side see here where it's in red and where it says health and fitness and let's see what they're selling what the vendors are selling Okay, health and fitness. Um, these are great. The price is $38. Um, it's health and fitness is called the flat belly fix. Now you want to go in there and find out exactly what that is. Um, you, when you hit all the links to this, and we're not going to do it today, but you can, I'm just showing you a place to go for you to do your research, but you can go in and hit these links. This is an affiliate page. They're going to give you um, all of the banners and different ads and things that you can use to promote their product or you can create your own a lot of times they give you things to use which is really nice especially when you're starting out they said the average percent of the sale is 75 percent and um, people that come back the average is one percent i don't know what this is now i'm going to tell you this though i have another um site that when you're in clickbank i want you to write this down i'm going to go to it real quick see right here where it has a gravity score 248.73 the higher the gravity score the better the product is it, as far as the market for the product that people are buying it i'm going to go to this other site it's called cb engine clickbankengine.com go ahead and write that down but you can also go in here and there's flat belly fix and they have the gravity score at 242. But it's letting you know if that product is definitely selling and what that gravity score is. Now look at it 
compared to other products, it's doing really, really well. Again, I've not used it, I don't know, but it looks like it would be a good one to look at. Now the Delta score is just telling you, it's kind of like watching the stock market, are the sales going up or down? I have looked at flat belly fix before when I was um, doing, a, I was doing a video on um, for my channel, uh, showing people these two sites and that flat belly fix was on there before. And that negative 0.95 is no big deal. The gravity score has actually gone up. It was sitting around 206 last time I saw it. Again, I don't sell the product, but I, I like to look at it and use it as an example if you're in the health and wellness industry. Um, here is an example. Remember at last week or the last training, I told you that you want to find your niche and your niche basically is health, wellness, or health, wealth, or relationships. Well, this, and then from there you want to get, you want to narrow it down. That's what we talked about. Well, let's say you want to be in health, but look here, um, diabetes remedy. So maybe within health, you're not, maybe you don't want to go into weight loss. Maybe you're not, you don't want to go into fitness, but maybe you could start looking at maybe diabetes. So see how the industry of health can be so broad or you can narrow it down. And that's what I mean. When you start looking for a product, it's going to help you to start figuring out, hmm, what's my niche? How can I tighten that up? How can I make it narrow? How can I make it smaller? Because honestly, if you try to sell to everybody, you'll end up selling to nobody. And you know yourself, like many of us need to lose weight, but we're all, we all feel connected with different programs or different people when we go to buy a program to lose weight. Doesn't mean one program is better than another. I, I could name 10 different programs where people have been successful, but for some reason they connect it with that program and that's why they were successful because it uh, depends on them as well. But even think of yourself when you go to buy a car or if you had to go buy furniture, have you ever walked away from a place because you didn't like the salesperson? I've done that. We've, my husband and I have walked out of a McDonald's <laughs> because um, the, the salesperson or maybe the manager, um, they weren't on their game that day. And maybe we felt like, you know what, we'll go someplace else. So um, that's what sales is about. It's well, people will connect with you. And that's why you want to find that audience or that target audience that's going to connect with you. Um, again, diabetes, you might say that you want to go into the niche to help people with diabetes and maybe children. Maybe you want to help children with diabetes or um, women between a certain age. So that's what we mean. You want to just narrow down who you're targeting, who you want to sell to. And it may not be clear at first. Again, I'm telling you these things, but a lot of this, if you write it down and know that these are things that I need to eventually um, really be concise about, but in the beginning you may not be, and that's okay. Um, don't feel like you're a failure because you can't come up with your why or you can't be, come up with your target, but start thinking about it and exploring. Um, some other things in the health and fitness, here's another product. product. It's called, um, it's uh, green juice. It's called Organ Ify. It's a, a juice system, I guess. Um, $75. So you might have people that like to juice to lose weight. Um, down here, this is more uh, unlock your hip flexor. So it looks like it's a little exercise program, which definitely is something to, to look at. These are really good actually, as I'm looking at them, but you want to dig in and figure out which one you want to sell. Now, something I would look at, and I'm going to talk to you about this in a minute, but notice these prices are all different. Some are lower, some are higher. Okay, so keep that in mind because we're going to talk about that in a moment. All right, let's go to JV Zoo. And this is where digital products are. Digital products are usually things like software or some type of a course or some kind of a training. Now over here to the left, I have the featured products up. They had a little... Um, tab and it said these are some of the featured products so these may be new products or products that may be doing well um, it looks like that where they just came out new because it said it was featured on may 28th okay and right here if you were in the wealth industry here's a training program start growing your following 24 7 and send traffic to your site for free so somebody that's new 
Um, okay, you, you're a new affiliate, so this may even be something you might buy because you want to learn how to send traffic, how to get people to come to your site. And we're going to talk about that in a minute, but there's a training on it. So you may find that you're going to go out and start looking at different areas of this business specifically and start looking at training to help you to dig in deeper. Because like I said, what I'm giving you is a broad overview to help you get started but eventually you're going to want to dig in deeper there was another one down here i thought okay a call to action bots bots are usually um, like a robot um, so it might be facebook messenger where it's automated you're you're um maybe you have something on Facebook that you're promoting and you set it up where when the person replies, they can go to right to many chat, which is a Facebook messenger bot. And you can set that up and it answers questions for you. It's crazy that the different things that there are out there. But then again, that might be a training that you want to offer to people who are trying to set up their affiliate program. I mean, I could promote that myself, right? Because we're talking about affiliates. Again, I don't have that. Um, I tend to find my courses and training based on courses and training that I have accomplished myself and that I have found that I really like or I like the trainer and I'll say, wow, I really want to be an affiliate for them because their training is valuable. It has lots of value. And that's kind of how I have become affiliates for different courses. They're based on courses that I've taken. You don't have to do it that way, but I just naturally did that. Um, here's products. You can hit this and it says uh, marketplace. Actually, I already had that open. And here's one. Um, I went ahead and typed in health and fitness, but this is a health and fitness training if you want to learn how to get into the industry. So um, let's look at another one for marketing. Let's see what comes up. There should be a lot of different ones in here. And yeah, you've got several pages. Social media, po Passive Profits Workshop. So, you know, for $37. And this is really nice because the prices are good prices to start with. People are more apt to chance, take a chance on something that's um, lower in price. Now, once a person, um, when they create their own courses, then they can start selling them higher and higher because they have kind of... Um, created themselves as a sense of authority on the subject, if that makes sense. So once you've done sales and you're a little bit more popular and people trust you, you can start selling more expensive things. And we're going to talk about that right now. All right, let's, so that is the what. You have to decide what area you want to sell in and then what products and start looking at them. Now, you're probably, I'm going to go over this a little bit with you. And I want you again to take notes. This is the who. Like, who are you going to sell to? Um, you're going to find your people to sell to by, like I told you, you're going to pick like a male or female or maybe by certain age or things like that. But how are you going? Let's talk about how as well, not just to what. Let's talk about how. How are you going to sell? And again, this is a brief, right now what I'm doing now is not... I'm going to go into more detail in the next trainings, but I want to give you a brief overview of what's coming up. So let's say you've picked your product. And one of the things that you do when you go to sell your product is you find a source. And that's what these are, traffic sources. You're going to pick a platform, a social media platform that you want to build up and start selling your product on that platform. You need to decide. And again, you're going to have to look for detailed training in all these areas on how people sell on these platforms. That would be like six different trainings right there. But pick the platform that you're comfortable with, okay? Uh, you might want to start with Facebook or Instagram. Instagram's been very popular lately. Pinterest, all of these are good, to be honest. They all work. But you need to pick the platform that you want to build up and sell from. And I use the word sell from, but that's exactly what you're doing. So let's say we picked YouTube let's go with Facebook because you're probably saying YouTube. What do you mean YouTube? I don't even know what to do. All right. So let's pick Facebook. What you're going to do is drive traffic from your Facebook posts onto a landing page. And in our fifth training day, I'm going to talk about the landing page and where you can build it and how to build it. But what you're doing is driving people to a landing page where you collect their email address and their name. That's all a landing page is. And to get them there, you 
offer them something for free, like a lead magnet. And we'll talk about that in another training as well. But my point is, when you offer that free item to somebody, they're gonna say, yes, I want that. And then they come in and they'll give you their email address and their name and you will send them that free item. And again, I'll show you how, but then you send them an email that says, thank you. Now you're thinking, well, why do I want their email address? Because actually, notice I didn't offer to sell anything here directly from Facebook. I didn't offer to sell anything. I just offered to give them something for free. And in exchange, they gave me their email address. The selling, the actual selling happens in emails, believe it or not. It doesn't happen instantly like that. A lot of people get excited and they think, oh, I'm going to promote this product and people are going to love it because I have this wonderful Facebook post and they need it. People don't buy because they need things. They buy it because they want things. And most of us are leery in the beginning. Think of yourself. But if somebody offers you something for free and it's something of value, then you're more than happy to give them your email address. So that's what we're doing in the affiliate marketing. Part of your job is to collect as many emails as you can. Now I'm going to explain another reason why. Let's say you build up an audience on Facebook. You're really good at this and you have like 4,000 people on your Facebook page and you even have a business page and you have like 10,000 people or Facebook groups. I mean, you really start building and you've got this great audience and then all of a sudden Facebook shuts down. You just lost your entire business. However, if you collected email addresses and you've collected 5,000, Facebook shuts down, but you still have those 5,000 names. That's where your business is. It has nothing to do with what you're selling. It has to do with your traffic. So the most important thing you can do to build your business in affiliate marketing is to build that email list. And you know what? If they get on your email list and within two days they buy something, great. But if they don't, that's because you're going to keep on. Let me show you what happens next. You're going to create this email list and you're going to send them emails and provide value to them. I have a book that I highly, highly, highly recommend you get for free. It's called Dot Com Secrets. And in that book, there's a whole chapter about how to set up an email sequence and write that down. Um, you need to have an autoresponder, which I'll give you a link to aweber.com. It's, it's one of the ones that are out there. There's lots of different ones, but that one's pretty reasonable. It's good for somebody starting out. The autoresponder is a platform that will collect your emails for you. So let's say that you set up Aweber, you've collected some emails, and then what you do in the autoresponder, you have pre-written emails that you've written out. It's called a sequence. And here I have seven. I think on one of my sequences, I have like 17 to start out. And then after a person goes through those, once a week or twice a week, I send out what I call a broadcast. These are my current emails where I'll share things. Like if I'm doing a video on my channel that has to do with a really neat organizer that I found, I might write to my email list or my, my customers or, and um, tell them about it and say, hey, go check out my video and check out this new organizer that I found. And I just keep giving them value. But every once in a while, I might say, hey, I found this new product that you might be interested in. You know, we're talking about health and fitness and you know, you can tell them all about it, maybe how you tried it or some references of other people that have tried it. And then you put a call to action in there and that's where you sell. Now, do you sell every single email? Absolutely not. Um, that would get old and people will unsubscribe, but you're providing value, warming them up, getting to know them and they're getting to trust you. And that's where the selling happens. So like I said, I'm going to provide you a link below. Um, dot com secrets is free. You just pay the shipping and I believe the shipping is like $7. So, um, I highly recommend now after you read that chapter on how to do the email sequence, what I did at first, I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm not a writer. I can't think of anything. What I did is I followed the instructions in that book. And then I wrote my email sequence out on a word doc. Like I just did one letter after the other. And he tells you how to make them flow. And that for me was so much easier than opening up all these links in Aweber and trying to type 
on their template, I typed in a Word document and I felt like I was kind of writing in a journal. So that's just a tip from me to add to that book. I'll also put the link for AWeber below, or you can go out and look for other autoresponders, but think of them as the mailman, the person, the place where you're putting your emails and, and storing your email list. You have to have a platform to put them on and they will go to that platform. All right, one more thing I wanna show you. Now, to make this all connect, remember I was telling you that you wanna come up with different products. Um, this is called a value ladder. To get people to come into your email list, you give away something for free. As you're warming them up, you might offer them a product that is about you know, around $37, something like that. Remember I told you to go to ClickBank and look for something on a lower level of price. And then up here, we were in ClickBank. I saw things that ran about $78. Then after a person buys that product for $37, down the road, you might start warming them up to buy the product for $78. So what I want you to be thinking about, the reason I'm showing you this is not to make you go crazy and be all over the place, but as you're putting your thoughts together, you're thinking about who you're, shop you're selling to, what you're selling that to them as you're looking for products in health and fitness or in wealth i want you to think about what can i give them for free right and what leads up to the next product so let's do the flat belly fix you're talking about their weight loss and then maybe in those products you found something that continued to talk about weight loss and maybe it was a you know another product at 78 dollars. again you have to go in and research it my point in showing you this is I want you to connect the items. You cannot go down here and say, I'm gonna give a free item on how to cut out sugar, and then I'm gonna go up here and give them something about how to lift weights. Do you see how they're not connected? Yes, it's all health, but they're not connected. Just because I wanna eat right doesn't mean I want to exercise. Now, later, maybe you can start bringing all that together but in the beginning here you want to really keep these items connected so they make sense and you're just bringing that person up to the next product that you have i hope this was helpful um, that's the end of our day two training um, there will be a day three coming out next um, again if you need to go through this again or or stop your training and take some time to research i'll do a uh, on day three, we're going to start talking about how to set up the affiliate link and where to find it and things like that. So we'll dig in a little deeper and I'll show you what to do with that link. Okay. All right. Enjoy, do some research and have fun. Don't get overwhelmed. There's a lot out there, but just find the things that, um, kind of sparks your passion a little bit and, Again, when you're in ClickBank, yes, you wanna be excited about it, but you also wanna find things that people are looking for and what they're buying. Because you could get excited about something like how to feed um, hummingbirds, but maybe there's not a huge market out there for it. So you wanna make money and you wanna help people. There's, there's a balance there. So find the product that people want. All right, see you on the next training.